What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. You know who I am. Welcome back to another episode of Film Stock Reviews. Annyeong haseyo. And in this episode, I'm reviewing Hello Me. Now, Hello Me tells the story of Ban Han Ni, who is a 37-year-old woman who is in and out of jobs and trying to make a living for herself. But some tragic event happens and then she meets her 17-year-old self again. Now, her 17-year-old self version back in the day we see was very popular in high school and one of the most popular girls in school. It's a contrast to what she was at 17 and at 37 years old. And time travel is the big aspect in this show. We try and figure out what's going on, what's happening, why her 17-year-old self was sent to the future to meet her 37-year-old self. And it goes back and forth of, you know, who can believe her, what's happening. It's a really good South Korean soap opera. And it's a television series, and it's really done well. It's based off of the 2011 novel, Fantastic Girl, and uh, this is really done well in a way. The time travel aspect is not really explained, I want to say, of how it happened or what happened. Seeing the 17-year-old version and the 37-year-old version come together and, you know, kind of sort of play mother and daughter is interesting because everyone in this story that's in this show, in this cast, is somehow connected to her in every way possible and imaginable. I really enjoyed this drama fantasy romantic comedy because it's very different. It only has 16 episodes and each episode runs between 50 minutes to about an hour and I wanna say 10 minutes long. It's a quick watch but it's also on Netflix so you can binge watch it periodically if you want to. It's a really good Korean soap opera where I'm surprised that they actually knew how to work in the time travel aspect. Not many South Korean TV shows or movies know how to work in time travel aspects. You know the concept, because we know the concept does you can't run into your other self and this and that, because the idea of the time travel aspect has been done with Back to the Future. Anything before 1985, the time travel concept and story is up in the air and here saying you can do whatever you want but after 1985 when back to the future came out we follow this rule of you can't meet your other self you can't do certain things you can't you know mess around with certain ways and that is mentioned in this soap opera where one or the other has to go or one has to die because the other can't coexist in the same world at the same time the ending is really interesting and it's fun because it's very unexpected you don't know what to believe and you don't know what to say and like i said i don't want to get into the detail or give spoilers about what happens in this story about the tragic event that happened to her at 17 and how it changed her from then on and how she became the 37 year old person that we see in the beginning of this show and then gradually as the show goes on through these 16 episodes she changes quite a bit and quite a lot she learns to love herself again she learns to take risks she learns to be youthful again because she met her 17 year old self again it's really fun and it's great and i absolutely love this show south korea knows how to do soap operas really well even if it's 16 episodes or 30 episodes they know how to keep your attention and Netflix is fantastic for dishing out all these South Korean soap operas. And if you haven't seen Hello Me or Hello It's Me or whatever they name it in Korea, uh, you need to check this out because this is a really, really great, great show. And it's really funny at times too. It's cute, but it's also very emotional. It pulls at your heartstrings. You don't know what to expect. And you just can't help but click that play button and move on to the next episode and you can just binge watch it it's fun i loved it and i enjoyed it hello me gets five out of five stars so let me know in the comment section below what you think about hello me did you see it did you not see it and what did you think of it and will you watch it now that i've mentioned it because i'm a huge fan of south korean movies south korean soap operas k-dramas i love k-pop 
huge cultural impact. I love everything about South Korea. Hey, and they have amazing talent there, and they do amazing movies, and like I said, it's really fun to watch. So let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this South Korean drama, and what would you rate it? And be sure you click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for new videos on my channel. And you know where to follow Mark Your Productions and me, Mr. Filmstock. I'll leave a link to all the social media accounts in the description box below. You guys can check it out and follow along. I'm Anthony. Thanks for tuning in. Come sammida.